the uh, orange Nazi is on trial in, in uh, New York City, um, I, which I'll get to in a minute. I, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this bastard, but um, he, uh, especially what he said before he went into the courtroom. I mean, you ever notice this about Trump? Everybody's against him. He's never done a thing wrong. It's the biggest witch hunt in the history of witches and everybody else. And they're after me. What, what did he say? My name's Trump, so I have to be guilty of something. No, you ugly bastard. Your name's Trump, and you're guilty of everything you've been charged with. Jesus, this, what a scum bastard this guy is. Oh, everybody picks on me. Russia, Russia, Russia. The Mueller report. The witch hunt. Ah! Oh, Christ. Too bad Trump doesn't have a pair where he could stand up on his hind legs and uh, offer up something, anything, to refute the charges against him ever. But, of course, that's impossible. The orange vomit is on trial in a courtroom in New York. And uh, that, for some reason... uh, well, no, not for some reason. I know why. He, he's looking to goose his brain-dead supporters again. He wants more money, 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 money. So he showed up for the trial today so he could put on his defiant face, his pouty defiance, uh, defiant face, uh, the face with the wrinkle between his two eyebrows and the plead and the beg and his little hands moving in and out, in and out, in and out. Ooh, 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 there he is. So he detoured from the campaign trail to attend his opening, you might say. This is the new uh, theater season on Broadway, so what the hell, it's a new uh, jerkwad season in Trump world. So it's the Attorney General's fraud case against him. Now, this is a civil trial, it's not criminal. I can't wait for the criminal shit to begin, frankly. And his political team... Uh, All these scumbums who work for him to suck money out of the stupidest people on earth, they just keep sending money. It's kind of like the televangelists. As a matter of fact, it's almost identical to these perverters of of the words of the rabbi from Nazareth, Jesus uh, of Nazareth. These son of a bitches who get on the television with their phony baloney bullshit and get these poor, ignorant... uh, and I mean poor, and I mean ignorant, slobs to send in their grocery money so that these son of a bitches who say they're uh, messengers of God can buy another jet. I mean, it's just insane. Well, that's what Trump is doing. You know, Trump figured it out very early. There's millions upon millions of jerk asses out there. If I could just reach them, I know. I can become president. <laughs> then I can reach them, and I'll get wealthy. Uh, excuse me, I do get carried away. Um, so the, the, the Trump show has now moved to the courtroom in New York. Uh, and he's already been compelled to uh, uh, show up in courthouses in four different criminal arraignment, arraign, arraignments this year. Um, but the whole shitty thing undersco- underscores how personally he aggrieved he feels because he's been accused accused of fraud and lying and deception. Uh, uh, uh. He also believes that just by showing up, which is something this rat bastard very seldom does, but just by showing up, he can he can show the brain dead morons who will probably by this evening have a new political ad ready for them to try to separate them from their money. But he wants to show his self-confidence. I'm here because Russia, Russia, Russia. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so, you know, this has been said before. But one of the things that I, I think has become prominent in the Trump era is that being accused of being a thug, a liar, uh, scum. Look at Clarence Thomas, Uncle Clarence. Uh, look at the little Goomba from, from New York State uh, who lied about everything to get elected. Uh, I mean, look at Matt Gates, who has been accused of uh, uh, sexual trafficking of minors. I mean, look at these bum bastards. All of them being accused of wrongdoing, they've decided it's politically beneficial. 
because they can use it, these maggot scum. They can use it to show how unfairly they're being treated by the weaponized Justice Department. Oh, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. Um, before he went inside to uh, listen to his uh, um, the case against him, the orange bastard stood um, in the courthouse and said, quote, this is a continuation of the single greatest witch hunt of all time. Now, to their credit, the regular networks, as far as I know, didn't carry any of that bullshit. They had some video, uh, but his filthy, uh, grifting voice was not carried, except, of course, on Fox. And I'm sure on the uh, slimeball television networks, the uh, digital networks that suck up to Trump like flies around a shit pile. But it wasn't carried on, on the, at least the networks I watched. So um, Trump, uh, his, his, uh, his one son, the one that somebody said one time, if Cat Piss could walk, it would be Eric Trump. Uh, he was in the courthouse. And also uh, a couple of his political aides, including his co-defendant in the federal case, accusing him of uh, theft and cover-ups and fraud where it concerns secret material um, regarding our relations with other countries. And that little pissant is named Walt Nauta. That poor guy. I, I, I mean, he is Trump's body man. But, you know, Walt, when the two of you go to prison, I don't think whatever prison you go to, the warden will allow you to suck around Trump the way you do now. So get it out of your system, dude, right? Oh, these people. Oh, my God. All right, what else do I want to talk about where it concerns Trump? Uh, th- by the way, this trial... Uh, to determine to what degree he's he's already been found guilty or culpable or whatever they call it in this kind of a trial. But in summary judgment, the judge overseeing all this craziness has, uh, um, <laughs> that judge has already said, yeah, he's liable. Yeah, he did it. So now the only thing that uh, is to be determined is what the damages are. And as you know, uh, the prosecutor, Letitia James, is asking for a, uh, she's the Attorney General of New York State. She wants a $250 million fine. <laughs> God, I think it should be more than that. Um, where was I? Uh, okay. Um, you know, in some ways, this, this filthy Trump campaign for the presidency again, uh, it, it, the way it's been just set on fire because of all the criminal charges against him. I don't mean set on fire to, to to burn the whole goddamn thing to the ground, which is where it should be and what should happen, but set it on fire because it's really inspired the maggots. Oh, my God, they got to come to their Jesus's defense, right? Um, and he's trying to turn the civil case into something like a fifth indictment uh, that is something to motivate his base, to separate them from their, their fives and tens and twenties. Jesus Christ. Um, now, uh, before I leave this, uh, the New York Times had uh, um, something in the paper this morning so that we could understand the civil case against Trump that's been brought by the state of New York. And there's six points. Uh, first of all, his whole empire... Uh, is under scrutiny that, you know, built on fraud and lies and theft and thievery and not paying bills. A son of a bitch. Letitia James, the attorney general, has been conducting a years long civil investigation into former Trump, uh, Donald Trump's business, former president Donald Trump's business practices, culminating in a lawsuit that accused Trump of, quote, staggering fraud, end quote. Now, that's from The New York Times. And here's what to know. This is courtesy of The Times. First of all, the origins of this inquiry. Well, it started after Michael Cohen. Remember him? Trump's former uh, conciliar, conciliar, former personal lawyer and fixer, who testified to Congress, uh, what, four years ago, that Trump and his employees had manipulated his net worth to suit his interests. It would go up sometimes, down other times. Um, next, the findings. Uh, Letitia James detailed in a filing what she said was a pattern by the Trump Organization to inflate the value of the company's properties in documents filed with lenders, insurers, and, da-da, the Internal Revenue Service. Next, 
fraud lawsuit. In September 2022, the Tisha James office rebuffed a settlement offer from Trump's lawyers. Ah, see? A few days later, she filed a lawsuit against Trump and his family business, accusing the whole nest of these vipers of a sweeping pattern of fraudulent business practices. Next, there are two key rulings. The civil trial against Trump began today after a New York appeals court rejected the bastard's attempt to delay it. Again, the decision came after the judge overseeing the case found that Trump persistently committed fraud by inflating the value of his assets and stripped him of control over some of his signature New York properties. That's already happened. Last, possible penalties. Letitia James has argued that Trump inflated the value of his properties by as much as $2.2 billion and is seeking to recover about $250 million. Um, and uh, I think uh, the Attorney General, Letitia James, is also trying to prevent uh, Trump and his two filthy sons from doing any business in New York from this day until they all drop dead. Or maybe there's a five-year limit on it. Who knows? Um, A Republican operative, a guy named Liam Donovan, said this in his quote by the Times, quote, Trump seems to be approaching his legal troubles like a handful of hearts. One or two indictments hurt you politically, but you collect them all, you might shoot the moon, end quote, (laughs) Right, it's talking about the card game hearts, which just happens to be my favorite online game. Sometimes when I'm really stressed out, I will sit in front of the computer screen or the iPad, and if the situation warrants it, on my little teeny iPhone, and I will play Endless Hearts. It's a great diversion. I mean, it really is. It's almost, well, I I guess it is a form of meditation for me. So that's what this person, Liam Donovan, is referring to. Um. Donovan goes on, quote, the sheer volume and variety of these charges obscures the individual cases and their fact patterns and plays into Trump's argument that his opponents are trying to take him down by whatever mean they, means they can. Ah! Oh, you filthy son of a bitch. Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits like me. Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial But we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.